I'd like to welcome everyone out to the 19th annual Battle of the Bands. We are still waiting on one judge, but we can knock out a few things while we wait. Um, I'm reminded to remind you to keep your mask on. Uh, some of the performers, like myself, when we're speaking in the mic or singing in the mic, or we're up here. We'll probably be taking ours off, but you are asked to keep yours on. Um, we were going to have Alex Boyer. We were shooting for the stars, but he's in a movie, and he's not able to make it tonight. So you're stuck with me. But I want you to read, I'm going to read a message from Alex that he sent after he realized he wasn't going to be here. So he said, thank you, let me know who the winner is, and I will give them a free half hour consultation on tips to further their music career. So our winners tonight will be able to meet with Alex Boyer. So thanks to Alex Boyer. Okay, we are also doing for the first time ever an open mic portion of the contest. So if you don't know what that is, we are allowing basically solo acts to perform and be a part of this event as well. And so we have 12 bands tonight that are competing and eight open mics that came from all across the state. We have some, one from Logan, as far north as Logan. We have some from Stansbury Park, which is out in Tooele. We have someone from Cedar Fort, which is pretty far out there too. And as far down, I believe uh, Timp View is our furthest south that we have, so. <laughs> yeah, we got South Georgia too. Good job. Looks like I have four judges up there. We're also trying to do it on digital, um, but so you don't have to wait. We're just probably going to hope that they can remember and they can write things in mind, uh, keep things in mind. We're going to get started. So our first band is from Bingham High School. Paper Cup Party has only been a band for about three months now. Nick started playing guitar two years ago and he started singing the night before their school's battle of bands. <laughs> Thomas started playing drums five years ago and he was in a band once before. Liv's been basing it up for seven months and after two and a half years of strumming, Caden's on lead guitar and he's, he's trying hard not to mess that one part of the solo where everything stops and it's just him. Let's hear it for Paper Cup Party! Paper Cut Party. And we wrote this song. It's called Melatonin. Thank you. 
Cause I felt like I wasn't enough Now I'm stuck to myself Move on through while I'm still thinking of you And the things I never do They will die with me When I'm dead to you bed with the words that she said melatonin to clear my head when the water's clear and the stars appear my thoughts disappear that's when I know that I belong here Where my vision's me Where I see when I sleep Life's a place where I'm at peace The 
lessons don't last When I'm playing you so fast There's something dark hanging over my head I'm 17, don't hold your breath There's something dark hanging over my head I'm 17, don't hold your breath dance books and red dress oh what an awful mess there's something dark hanging over my head I'm 17 don't hold your breath there's something dark hanging over my head Thank you. Paper cup party! Thomas, let me talk to you as soon as you can get away from the drums, Thomas. Okay, we're good. As these guys get off the stage and we bring on our next act, I'm gonna try and talk to one of the students as they exit stage right. Is it stage right? Which one's stage right? I guess nobody wants to talk to me. Liv, do you want to talk to me? You already ran off stage. Here she comes. <laughs> Come here. Okay. I know Bingham High had their prom tonight. Were you the only one that had a date, so no one needed to worry about it? I don't go to Bingham. <laughs> she goes to Riverton, right? How did you get hooked? How did you get into the band with all the Bingham boys in? I met Caden somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so what's the, what's the best part about being in this band with these guys? Playing music almost every day. Every day? Almost every day. Okay, awesome. Okay, give it up for Paper Cup Party. Yeah, you're going to notice a, a theme here at the start because we have a number of schools. We have Bingham, we have Leighton that both have their prom tonight that we're trying to compete with. And uh, our next act, Hallie Hales, is from Weber, and she had to balance that act between prom and the multi-region that she was in. So she knows all about that. And she's also having to balance something else. She's in a photo shoot and... Video shoot. Video shoot. She's a, she's a movie star too. But she made it here, right? Yeah. Good job. Okay. Let me make it official. Next up is Hallie Hales, a 17-year-old instrumentalist, singer, songwriter, and dreamer. She's in love with trying new things, and so far this experience has been one heck of a great thing. She's been singing since she was two, although her dad says she's been rocking it right from the womb. <laughs> Music and art have been the way she's been expressing herself for years. She can't wait for her future and is eager to see all the challenges that come with it. From Weber High School, let's hear it for Hallie Hales. I wrote this song 
Um, it's a love song about a guy who's actually no longer with me. <laughs> but his memory is. I'm really missing something good. I know it might sound crazy I have you running round my mind daily Though we haven't seen each other lately I know I have in my mind your smile I'd walk thousands of miles Cause right now you're my only revival At my all-time lows I've tried substitutes for you lately Going out more with someone new daily But when I'm with them I've been only thinking of you Baby, nothing is working I find myself wishing That I was with you every time Cause when I'm with them, I miss a lie Not even medicine Could heal the pain I'm in Cause when I'm not in your arms I'm wishing I had a key to your heart Yeah, I'm missing something good Missing something good Something good I've been missing you, baby I'm missing something good Missing something good Something good I've been missing you Substitutes for you lately Going out more with someone new daily But when I'm with them I've been only thinking of you Baby, nothing is working I find myself wishing That I was with you every time Cause when I'm with them it's a lie not even medicine could heal the pain I'm in Cause when I'm not in your arms I'm wishing I had a key to your heart Yeah, I'm missing something good I'm missing something good Something good I'm missing you Okay, Hallie, when you're done, come over here for a second while we talk to the person who's... While the next person gets ready, we'll talk to you. Wasn't that awesome? Now you see why we have the open mic. (laughs) 
So the next act, actually, I'll tell you right now, the next act that's on the program, Summer Vibe, one of them ended up in Morgan following Google Maps. So don't trust Google Maps. <laughs> so the next on the program will actually be Brooke White, I believe. So she should be coming out and getting ready. Okay, Hallie, you got some advice for, for Brooke and our other prom queens and kings that are uh, having to balance the, everything today? Have fun and smile. <laughs> you look gorgeous. <laughs> Good luck. So are you going to tell us any more about the guy who you wrote that song for? or He... I did have some pretty good memories with him, though. Sad that he couldn't be here tonight, but hey, I got a good song out of it, right? <laughs> Hallie Hills, thank you. Good luck on your video shoot. Okay, you ready to go, Brooke? Next, we have someone who fell in love with music at a young age. She has gone from performing in her elementary school plays to starring in Les Mis as Eponine at Leighton High. Woo. And they had, they had a technical rehearsal today, so she had to balance that as well as prom, right? Everywhere. That's true. Not only does she perform in plays, she sung in choirs, played in orchestras, performed in large front of large crowds. Her favorite music memory is a performance at the restaurant The Lake House at Deer Creek in Heber Valley. She was able to serenade the restaurant patron, patrons as the sun went down. Singing is one of her greatest passions. She's grateful to share it with you. Here is Brooke White. Well, I feel a little bit overdressed, but it is senior prom. <laughs> um, I'm super excited to be here. Um, shout out to my cute prom date for spending his, some of his senior prom here. Um, <laughs> um, and the group, I love you guys. And I'm about to sing a real sad song, so I hope you enjoy it and try to hold in your tears. Cause what a 
Brooke White. Okay, Brooke. As soon as you're ready, I'm going to talk to you. We got the next band coming out. Scarlet Magnolia, come on. Okay, did you have a day date too that you're trying to put in with senior prom? Um, we had pictures at the Capitol right before this. Well, that's cool, pictures at the Capitol. So, talk about uh, your part in Les Mis and when, when do you guys do that performance? When are you guys on? Um, we open May 14th um, and run through the 22nd. It's gonna be really good and I'm super excited about it. Okay. Thanks everyone, Rick White. Have fun. While these guys are getting set up, let me, uh, let me introduce our judges to you. It's on your program, but I'll go through it. Lance Anderson has been involved with bands and music most of his life, being motivated at the age of 14 by the Beatles to learn to play guitar. There's hardly been a time Lance hasn't been in a band, including a cover band called Hourglass that played all over Southern California a classic rock band named Vintage, and he current pl currently plays saxophone, guitar, or banjo in three different jam bands. Lance Anderson. Woo. Dan Bradshaw has been a drummer in a garage band for 15 years. Per <laughs> Particularly fond of music from the 60s and 70s, he also plays the 12-string guitar. He's a past judge of the Battle of Bands, Dan Bradshaw. Corey Fox has been a prominent figure in the Utah music and arts community for 30 years. His Provo Music venue, Velour Live Music Gallery, just celebrated its 15-year anniversary and is best known for helping to launch the careers of Grammy-winning Imagine Dragons, Neon Trees, the Aces, the Moth, and the Flame, the National Parks, and many others. He's also the co-founder of the Fork Fest Music and Arts Festival, which the winner tonight will be able to open for on June 19th in American Fork. Corey Fox. You guys ready? Not yet? Okay, good, we got one more judge. Russ Roberts was a music major at University of Utah. He is a concert cellist, plays the piano and the bass guitar. He's been a bass player in several rock and roll bands, most recently with the band Reunion 65, The Band. He is a past judge at the Battle of Bands as well, Ross Roberts. Okay, I think they're almost ready. Our next band comes to us from Jordan High School. In 2019, sophomores Davis McBride, Gabe Harward, and Lucas Fisher started playing music together. In October 2020, Michelle Hayes joined them as a vocalist, creating their band. The band plans to release their debut EP in the early months of this summer. Here to rock your world, Scarlet Magnolia.
Um, this is Davis on the guitar. Um, <laughs> this is Gabe. And this is Lucas. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, we have an Instagram, Scarlet Magnolia Music, just in case. Um, yeah, and we're ready. We're so grateful to be here. Um, our next song is an original. Um, I think you guys will like it. It's called Left Me in the Smoke. One more time, Scarlet Magnolia, yeah. Which one of you wants to talk to me? All right, okay, which one are you? Lucas, okay, how long have you guys been a band? Uh, a little over a year now. Do you guys shop at the same store or different stores? I'm just curious. A little different. 
We bought this today, about two hours ago. Okay, as Weston comes out, Weston, you coming out? Hey, don't go away. He's going away. <laughs> so, what what's the best part about being in this band? Uh, probably the musical influence that we each bring to the band. Talk about that. We like to say we're the culmination of our own individuals. You know, Davis, he's the rock guy. Gabe, he's the weird guy. <laughs> Michelle brings her own stuff. And of course me, I like everything. You know, we each add our own to the band and we're really happy with how far we've come. I like how Michelle gave you the eye, making sure you said the right thing when you said her name. So, okay, thanks very much. Thank you for Scarlet us. Magnolia. Weston, you ready? Come on out. Our next open mic performer comes from Cedar Fort, Cedar Valley High School. He's always loved music and being a part of it. He's performed many shows and he likes to step out of his comfort zone and explore other types of music besides his own. His guitar is his passion. Here is Weston Withers. Well, this has been the best year ever. Um, so the judges have the I am playing free falling, but here's the problem with that. I have played three fa free fallen at the last two shows, and now like everyone at school is just well, but free falling though. And so I'm gonna give you guys the audience choice whether you want to hear Tom Petty's Free Fallen or Creedence Clearwater. It's tough. So, so Tom Tom Petty Tom Petty. Okay, Creedence Clearwater. Okay, now this is just out of curiosity. Which one of you guys are like my country fans? Like the ones that, like. I'm sitting with go those guys. Those guys are cool. There's a calm for the storm And I know it's been coming for some time Well, it's over, so they say It'll rain a sunny day And I know shine down like water Yesterday, days before Sun is cold, the rain was hot And I know it's been that way for all my time Till forever on it goes Through the circle fast and slow And I know I can't stop and wonder Day. Okay, this last verse I want everyone to sing. I want to know who have you ever seen the rain? I want to know who have you ever seen the rain coming down on 
a sunny day. Thank you guys. You guys need to work on your timing a little bit, but I mean like, yeah, <laughs> applause. I'm gonna go sit with my country fans now, all right? Come on over here, Weston, come on. Okay, Monolith, come on stage, get set up while we talk to Weston. Okay, nope, you gotta talk into this mic, don't, don't use that one. Yeah, I've gotta use this one. I've been, I've been inoculated. I'm good. I'm COVID free. So you're good. Okay. So uh, that was a bit unusual to uh, go off script there. Is that usual for you? Uh, yeah. I don't like to play the same song twice. I like to change it up, get mixed up. <laughs> okay. Um, so living out in Cedar Fort, what's what what's there to do out in Cedar Fort other than play guitar? I guess. Well, there's mountains. I like to go hiking a lot. And there's our gas station got shut down, so that's scrapped. Um, uh, let's see. Well, I mean, you can drive into Eagle Mountain if you could drive. Uh, you can't drive yet? Not yet, working on that. Uh, yeah, just sitting around working. Lots of work, so that's good. So Cedar Valley is a new high school. How new is it? It's like two years or something like that? Yeah, it's two, year, it's two years old. I'm a part of their FFA program. I'm actually in the Ag Mechanics Division, and I'm planning on signing up and going to MTech next year and stuff. Okay, thanks, Weston. Good luck, man. Weston Withers. Do you know which one you used before? It was the one all the way this side. Hey, look, I'm stage tech too. Hey, I'm good. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a little bit about this band, and you can take it back to your schools. Monolith is our membership increase band. So that means their school got them qualified because they had the biggest increase in PTA membership. So in a year when we have a lot of schools that are down in membership, Mountain Ridge High School had an increase. So good job, Mountain Ridge. Okay, now looks like a good time to talk about our sponsors. I probably didn't bring out that sheet, so I don't have it, but our sponsors today are Utah PTA, Salt Lake Community College, and the Grand Theater. So give a big round of applause for them, our audio guys, and our ticket takers, and everybody here on stage that's helped us with sound checks all day so that these guys are ready to go. And uh, looks like they're almost ready to go. You guys good? Okay, our next group's a new band who loves to rock and roll. Sadly, due to COVID, they were forced to cancel their gigs at the presidential inauguration in the Super Bowl. But they are here today to rock your socks off. From Mountain Ridge High School, it's Monolith. Hey everybody, we're Monolith. Um, we're gonna play a song by Weezer, it's called Mexican Fender, if you know what you can sing along. Uh, get ready to have your faces melted off. <laughs> Shop on Santa Monica and 7th Street. Salesmen tried to get my attention to sell me a Mexican fender. Came to get her 10,000 steps to hang out with her boyfriend. But I was only trying to get to know her, so I took her out to the ocean. It was hot, hot, 100 degrees, but she only went in up to her knees. She didn't want to take 
off the jeans Cause that would be insane But so job in computer programming that's pretty cool for a singer in a band so i knew we would end up jamming later that night we went to a gig and she asked for some advice what do you do with your hands when you're singing do you just hold on to the mic it was hot hot 100 degrees and the trash overflowed out on the street the heartbreak dj stepped to me but i just couldn't get enough but so She loves me not. Oh, she loves me. She loves me. She loves me not. Gonna fly so high to a place that we have never seen ever since she came round in a greasy tea and faded jeans. Oh, got a cozy pad around the corner. Slide a little closer. She loves me not. Oh, she loves me. She loves me. She loves me not. Oh, she loves me. She loves me. She loves me, she loves me not. Switch it up real quick, just one second. <laughs> okay, this is a song that I wrote. It's called Invisible Ink. Really hope you guys like it. One, two, three, four. talking to me. I don't know your thoughts, your fears, or who you want to be. They say pain is a poet. And I think we both know it was bound to go like this in the end. I wish that I could say we'll still be friends. But I wrote a story in invisible ink, cause I don't know what you think. So I'm dumping us down the sink. Our problems will just all disappear cause i know we both fear to talk about the things that we don't hear thought i made it clear to myself that we're pulling on the shelf and i don't want to take us down i wrote her story in invisible don't want you to go don't want them to say they told me so but i guess they were I don't want to have to go through one more stupid fight Guess that we're at our lowest And I think we both know it was bound to go like this in the end I wish that I could say we'll still be friends But I, I wrote a story in invisible ink Cause I don't know what you think So I'm dumping us down the sink Our problems won't just always disappear Cause I know we both fear to talk about the things that we don't hear Thought I made it clear to myself that we put it on the shelf And I don't want to take us down I wrote a story in Invisible Ink You can shine a light on us But we just still won't be what you want to hear You can shine a light on us Invisible link, cause 
Cause I don't know what you think I wrote a story in invisible ink Cause I don't know what you think So I'm dumping us down the sink Our problems will just always disappear Cause I know we both fear To talk about the things that we don't hear Thought I made it clear to myself That we're put on the shelf But we don't wanna take us down I wrote our story in invisible Take it back, my mic. <laughs> Who took it, man? Monolith, awesome, guys. <laughs> Can I see who's done first and they get a talk? So they go slower, right? Is that what happens? <laughs> you want to come talk? Okay. Now you're the youngest in the band, is that right? Okay, brother and sister, raised brother. Hi, brother. So, uh, talk about putting this band together with your brother and stuff like that. Um, well, our band's really new. We formed it mostly for Battle of the Bands, but we've all kind of done our own stuff separately. So, it's really fun. We've played this and then we played one other gig for our school and it's been really fun so far. Awesome. Okay, I like how they use the word gig already, right? Got a gig. Okay, Monolith. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I guess one of these times I'm going to raise it so I don't have to keep lowering myself. Okay, can you tell we've got another prom queen here? Okay, our next student attends Leighton High School, where she was chosen as a member of the Actors and Musical Theater Companies. She's had the lead as Mai in the production of Descendants, and is currently playing the part at Eponine in the popular Les Mis at Hope Box Theater. So we have a couple of Eponines here tonight. Hopefully this is a better ending than Eponine kids. Uh. <laughs> Talon considers it a huge honor to be named Miss Davis County Teen USA and to be selected as a member of Utah's Ambassadors of Music. She feels very at home on the stage and is looking forward to performing for you today, accompanied by Marquesa Torbenson. Here is Talon Robertson. Hi, you guys. First thing first, I think we should give a round of applause for all the other bands that are competing tonight. They're doing so good. And yes, I'm slightly overdressed. Like Tom said, I am going to prom tonight. There's three acts from Lane High because apparently our school just has fantastic plan planning. So this is my accompanist, Marquesa, and I'm Talon Robertson, and I will be performing I'll Never Love Again from A Star Is Born. When we 
we first met I never thought that I would fall I never thought that I'd find myself Lying in your arms mm, mm. And I want to pretend like it's not true Oh baby that you're gone Cause my world keeps turning and turning and turning And I'm not moving on Don't want to feel another touch Don't want to start another fire Don't want to know another kiss No other day falling off of my lips Don't want to give my heart away To another stranger oh, Let another day begin Won't even let the sunlight Talon and Marquesa. Cade, we got to talk to you before you go back to your date. Okay. <laughs> Is your date here? No, I'm going to Stag. He's not here. <laughs> he missed out, dude. Come on. So, uh, how did you get into being all musical and drama and all that kind of stuff? Well, my mom, Deborah, is a professional vocalist. So, initially, her. But. I got into musical theater in junior high, and I just stuck with it. Okay, and one of the things, I've met Talon before, and she, because she's Miss, how do you say it, Miss Davis County Teen USA, is that how you say it? Yeah. Okay. She has, you know, everybody who does those kind of things has to do a platform. So tell me be, just a little bit about your platform while Summer Vibe's getting here. Summer Vibe showed up, she found out we're not in Morgan, so we're good. So tell me about your uh, your pr your platform and just a little bit about that for a second. Okay. So my platform is called Make a Choice, Have a Voice. Um, initially, I started it because I have so many people in my life who are members of society who have been misunderstood or discriminated against, and I wanted to start a YouTube channel and podcast and uh, different social media pages to spread awareness about their trials and their stories that they've gone through to spread awareness about causes and people who are misunderstood in our society, and I think it's a really important cause. Okay, awesome. Okay. Talon, thank you, Marquesa. Great job. Okay, our next band comes to us from Layton via Morgan. <laughs> this is their first competition they've ever entered, and they're excited to be here tonight. They had only played for their family and friends and saw this as a perfect opportunity to get their name out there. Both of them are seniors at Layton High and are ready to graduate, so they have more time to pursue their musical dreams. They are Summer Vibe. Is this thing on? Oh, it is. Um, yeah, so I definitely arrived fashionably late. And so, um, yeah, Morgan is like an hour away, if you didn't know. That was crazy. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Now, for this song, 
it's pretty popular. So when I go like this, you're going to sing, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it. deeper than a knife Now I need someone to bring me back to life Got a feeling that I'm going under But I know that I'll make it out alive If I quit calling you my lover Move on You watch me bleed until I can't breathe Shaking, falling onto my knees And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing stitches Tripping over myself Aching, begging you to come help And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing stitches Just like a moth drawn to the flame Oh, you learned me and I couldn't sense the pain yeah. Your bitter heart cold to the touch Now I'm gonna reap what I saw I'm not seeing red on my own I got a feeling that I'm going under, but I know that I'll make it out alive if I quit calling you my lover. Move on. You watch me bleed until I can't breathe. I'm shaking, falling onto my knees. And now that I'm without your kisses, I'll be needing stitches. Tripping over myself. Gonna wind up dead Needle in the thread Gotta get you out of my head Needle in the thread Gonna wind up dead Needle in the thread Gotta get you out of my head Needle in the thread Gonna wind up dead Needle in the thread Gotta get you out of my head Get you out of my head You watch me Thank you for singing with us, or else that would have been really awkward. <laughs> Appreciate it. This next song um, we wrote, it's called Perfect Love. So this one, you just get to sit back and enjoy. And clap when she tells you to clap. That's it.
happened again I don't know when I'm gonna find someone who loves me Find someone who loves me, yeah I can't pretend I can't pretend that I didn't see it coming Didn't see it coming I've been alone for way too long I don't know what to do I'm so done with this so-called love Cause I've been feeling numb and I'm so done with this so-called love Because it never feels right Even though I try to find the perfect love Cause I've been feeling numb and I'm so done with Is that worth the wait or what? Awesome. <laughs> Somebody brought some fans, it sounds like. Summer Vibe, come out this way when you're ready. And we'll talk to Summer Vibe. We'll see how, how well it works to use Google Maps and everything like that. And <laughs> no, I think there are our last performers that had to balance prom, so okay. I'm glad to get prom out of the way and everybody's here. And we have Dear Whoever getting set up from Viewmont High School. Okay. Let's talk to the man first, so what was it like when you found out she wasn't coming? Uh, I was kind of worried, um, but then we figured it out, so it was cool. <laughs> yeah, you had to wait on two prom dates today, right? That's... <laughs> okay, so what was it like for you when you found out you were in the wrong place, and what? panic attack and then I cut my hair and dyed it more blonde um, I'm just kidding I did that last week <laughs> um, no but 
Um, <laughs> I was freaking out. I was like calling um, Talon's mom and I'm like, I'm freaking out. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm all the way in Morgan. It's an hour away. Help. And she was like, calm down. There's nothing like, you're totally fine. You can just calm down. Don't speed. And I'm like, too late, man. <laughs> Okay, we won't tell if you won't tell. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we'll let you get back to your day, and hopefully everything else goes a little better. You know how to get to Leighton High, right? <laughs> yeah. I won't use Google Maps on an Apple phone again. Okay. Summer vibe. <laughs> you guys are quick. Are you ready? I must talk too long, okay. Our next band claims to be more than just a band. They are a lifestyle. Dear whoever is knowing when you are completely fried from jamming and decide to play Skate 3. It is goofing around and having fun while playing and making music. Each member of the band works hard at their instrument and has found a deep appreciation for every part of the band. Hopefully, you can find that same appreciation. From Viewmont High School, dear whoever. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're Do Whoever, and as you can tell by our outfits, we actually do have prom after this as well, so we're gonna have to bounce pretty quick. Um, this is our cover, Someday by The Strokes. before they're made sometimes sometimes oh my says i'm lacking in death still i will do my best you say you want to stay by my side darling your head's not right i see alone we stand together we fall apart yeah I think I'll be alright And I'm working so I won't have to try so hard Tables they turn sometimes Oh, someday Yeah, I ain't wasting no more time They come to me in threes So hard Sometimes I said, fade my friend You say the strangest things I find That sometimes Oh, Maya says I'm lacking in doubt Still I will do my best You say you want to stay by my side Darling, your head's not right I see alone, we stand together, we fall apart Yeah, I think I'll be alright And I'm working so I won't have to try so hard Tables, they turn sometimes Oh, someday Yeah, I ain't wasting no more Thank you. Oh. 
Thank you guys so much. All right, so we're do whoever. Uh, this is Corbin Hatch. Isaac Peruzinha. Cooper Brizoff. And Zach Larson on the drums. All right. Um, so we haven't actually decided what song to play next, so any suggestions? Just kidding. This is Doorstep by It's Our Original. just might be into me I can't get a clue I'm scared to look like a fool I took you on a day expensive food but you didn't even touch a play driving back Conversations deep, but when we are done, you didn't say a thing. And now I don't know what to think. Wow, I wish you would tell me was it real or oh, baby, was it all just in my head? Do you feel how I feel, or are you just not interested? I look at your face. My mind is racing, my heart is adjacent I wish you would say it Now we're here on the pavement I know I've been there before We're standing outside the door And I'm trying to make a move I can't get a clue Oh, I'm scared To look like a fool ah! I wish you would tell me Was it real? Or baby, was it all just in my head? Do you feel how I feel? Or are you just that interested? I look at your face My mind is racing My heart is adjacent I wish you would Say it, now we're here on the pavement You look so gorgeous in your dress In the moonlight, but I'm a mess I gotta confess I need to know, was this just another hopeless day? Cause I don't need Another mistake
Somebody just rocked the house, huh? Awesome job, dear whoever. <laughs> I think now's an appropriate time to tell you. <laughs> this year we know already that we sold more tickets and have more people here than we've ever had at any state thank battle you, of the bands. So thank you everyone for supporting your students. Supporting your family and your friends. Awesome job. Okay, who? I'm going to ask the crowd. Who do I doc, Who do I need to talk to? Do Do one of you want to ask him a question? <laughs> okay, I got. I got to ask, dear, whoever, what? Um, I mean, so Corbin's uncle gave him like a deer head thing, like a taxidermy deer head, and that's hanging right above our drum kit. So I don't know. It's just. Does the deer have a name? Or the deer head? That have is disputed. Let's not get into that. That is a little bit of a conflict among the band. <laughs> okay. I won't ask. You won't tell. Okay. Um, how did you guys get together as a band? Who, who brought you together? So me and Walter started playing, you know, sophomore year. I learned how to play guitar and I'm like, dude, you just got a drum kit, let's play a little. And then we picked up Isaac and then we're like, we need a bassist. So Cooper, best guitarist I know, by the way. And then we're like, crap, we need a drummer because Walter was playing drums and like he was singing too. That didn't go very well. Let's just yeah. say that. I don't know. <laughs> then we got Zach, we got really? Zach over here. Yeah. Really yeah. just pulls the team together. Is Zach the crowd favorite? Is that what's going on here? Yeah. No, okay. Okay, dear whoever, looks like lottery right. One more time. Okay, sorry I took your time. You weren't able to get off stage, but. Okay, our next band was established about four years ago. Can you believe that? They were like six. <laughs> no, it was in their eighth grade year for Audrey and Lizzie where they got together. Since they first started singing with each other, they've had several memorable performances, which keeps them coming back for more. Singing at Burry Cafes. I don't know what that is. I'll have to ask you about that <laughs> later. Morningside Charity Events. These two absolutely love sharing their musical talent with everyone. This is their third consecutive battle of the bands. They had to play at their home, own home by themselves last year because we weren't here, buddy. Yeah. Through COVID, these two have still found ways to spend time with each other and develop their talents. Their original song was written over FaceTime with the help of many voice memos. They're excited to finally be able to perform live tonight. Welcome to the stage from Stansbury Park, Laudry. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Laundry. How are you guys doing tonight? Did we ask them how they were doing tonight? Did you hear anything? I heard nothing. Let's, let's ask them again. How are you guys doing tonight? Okay, okay, there really we go. Good. I think they're doing good. There we go. Okay, hi guys, I'm Audrey. I'm Lizzie. And we are so excited to be performing live again. We've missed so it excited. so much. Um, this first song is a mashup that we wrote together. It's called Happier With Me, and we hope you enjoy. <laughs> Guess it's true, I'm no good at a one night stand. Walking down 29th and Park. But I still need love cause I'm just a man I saw you in another zone These nights never seem to go to plan Only a month we've been apart I don't want you to leave, will you hold my hand? Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're Darling, 
some self-control I saw that both your smiles were twice as white as ours Yeah, you look happy. you can lay with me so you it does to Ain't nobody hurt you like I hurt you Ain't nobody love you like I do Take it personal, baby. If you're moving on with someone new, cause baby, you look happier. You too. My friends told me one day I'll feel it too. And until then, I'll smile to hide the truth. I know I. for a second. Okay. Adjustments. Okay, so this next song is the one that we wrote together while we were quarantined and we wrote it over FaceTime. One of us, I won't say who, one of us got our hearts broken. And we all know that the best way to cope with a breakup is through song. Yes, I heard it in the front. You got it. So um, we decided we needed to add a little bit of depth to our music. So we invited our friend Taven to play the cello for us. We love Taven. And we're just making some small adjustments so the piano can be in the middle. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Ready, guys? Okay. Minor adjustments. Here we go. Good. Yeah. That's All right. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Conversation in 15 days, watering a dead plant that can't be saved. <laughs> oh, brother. Thank you, thank you. It's okay, it's okay. So, <laughs> Jello <Okay>, Solo. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> He's a little nervous. <laughs> we good? <laughs> we kind of need our piano. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> we love our fans. We love our fans. We love them. Well. Did we break 
Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ready? Is that? Uh, I don't. Is your piano working? <laughs> no sound. Technical difficulties. How are you guys doing now? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Are you guys enjoying Battle of the Bands? Yeah. This is, this is fun. This is fun. Awesome. I've missed live music. Oh, me too. Uh, oh, and all of the bands tonight have been phenomenal, oh right? My oh my gosh. The electric guitars, the bass, the drummers. We need a drummer. Yeah. Any drummers out there that are willing to volunteer? No? Okay. Well, we tried. We'll have auditions or something. Yeah. Okay, are our mics working? I'm not. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Alright, that's fine. Do you want a dance break? I'm gonna pretend this works. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> This will happen. <laughs> whatever, whatever. You don't feel comfortable on stage without holding something, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got a chance. You can play the cello without microphone, right? Yeah, he can. I'm not going to. <laughs> What's your favorite song on the cello? Ooh, I don't know. There's, there's many. If you tell him, he'll ask you to play it. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So if you can hear me, we'll talk about a couple of things. So uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors. We got PTA, Salt Lake Community College, Grand Theater, just for that guy that you Sonic Driving, American Center for the Arts, Alex Boyd. Okay, can you hear me now? Are we working now? Okay, baby, our show is back on the road. Our show is back on the road. We're Let's back. go. It's all good. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, now we finally get to, this is the moment, this moment. Okay, I'm so glad our mics are working. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Like yeah, I think so. Okay. You guys can hear us okay? Yeah? Can you hear me? Guys? Okay, great. Thank you for your patience. Okay, here we go. One conversation in 15 days, watering a dead plant that can't be saved.
getting what I need. One conversation in 15 days. It's come to the point where it hurts me to stay. Cause you didn't choose me like I chose you. Guess I wasn't worth the fight. Was this a game to you? All I wanted was to be loved by you. I could see it. We'd be happy growing up for love. Let's hear it one more time for Laudry. Okay. Burry's Cafe, what is, what is that? Okay, so our school does something called a Burry Cafe where all of the people that have any sort of talent, mo it's mostly musical talent, they come and we have like a cute little setup in the cafeteria or we've done it outside and everyone comes and sings and there's food and you can mingle with your friends. It's really fun. And I miss them. Yep. We haven't had one in a while. <laughs> I miss them. We miss a lot of things this year, didn't we? But we're here tonight. We're excited and glad. Thank you, Salt Lake Community College, for letting us be here. Okay, and the name Laudry. You guys came up with that in eighth grade. What, what was the inspiration there? Um, well, so my name is Audrey, and Lizzie's name is Lizzie, and we have no creative talent whatsoever, so we're like, let's just put our names it's together. A name. It's a couple name. So our <laughs> band actually started kind of as a joke. We were messing around with Audrey's new electric guitar, and we were like, wait, both of us can kind of sing, so we were messing around in our basement, and then we actually were like, wait, we can like write music. <laughs> and it still kind of is a joke. Still like, a we still mess around a lot, but we also love to sing, seriously. If you want to see all of our jokes you can follow us on Instagram at Laudry there's a dot in between D and R yeah so it's L-A L-A-U-D dot R-I-E yeah there you go it's just fun so okay let's hear it for Laudry Emily and Bianca you guys ready I take it they expect not to have a lot of setup time here. Okay, <laughs> from Corner Canyon High School. We better let the stage tech guy get off before you dance with him, but hey. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Our next performers come from Corner Canyon High School. Emily and Bianca are doing what they love most, music. Thanks for coming along for the ride. You won't be sorry. Emily and Bianca! Hello, my loves. How are we all doing tonight? Okay, really that bad? Guys, they were all phenomenal. You're doing great, I know it. How are you doing? There we go. Okay, I'm Emily Ackeson, and this is Bianca Davis. Give a hand for Bianca, please. <laughs> Bianca. Emily. I think we have something that all the ladies in this room tonight need. What, what do they need? A hero. They need a hero. They need a man, okay? We're gonna give them a hero. Take it away, Bianca. <laughs> Isn't there a white knight, a 
I reach Someone's reaching back for me Racing on the thunder And rising with the heat It's gonna take a Superman to sweep me up my feet I need a hero I'm holding on for a hero Till the end of the night He's gotta be strong And he's gotta be fast And he's gotta be fresh from the fight Meet the mountains above uh, Where the lightning strikes the sea I can swear there is someone Somewhere watching me Through the wind and chill And the rain And the storm and the flood I can feel the approach Like a fire in my blood No, I'll, we'll use this one. You finish. Can you put that back where it goes? And I'll talk to Bianca while you're over there. So how'd you get how'd you get connected here with Emily? Um, we met like what ten years ago. We danced at the same studio, and she called me and she was like, "Hey, I need a pianist for open mic." So here we are. And you're rocking. Thank you. She killed it. She's <laughs> phenomenal. Thank you. What do you think of the open mic category? I know you were in it at your school last year. Just tell me about what you think of it. The open mic? I think it's so fun because there are so many people that like don't have time to practice every day for a band, but they still want to sing or play an instrument, and then you still can with open mic. Emily and Bianca. Okay, you're noticing a few new instruments out here today. Next up, we have a bluegrass band from Timview High School. The band was formed to back up their star vocalist and fiddle player, Ellie Gesslison. State champion fiddler, prospective national champion, and daughter of the acclaimed Mark Gesslison at BYU. Thus producing their name, Ellie and the Lesser Musicians. Isn't that mean? Or Ellie and the Lessers, for brevity's sake. Please enjoy Ellie's performance and tolerate the rest of them. Welcome to the stage, Ellie and the Lessers. just going to have to kneel down here to talk to you all. Um, we're excited to be here. You're halfway through the show. You're almost there. You've got another half of really good acts. Um, 
We hope that you can uh, cleanse your mind for a minute and join us in the world of bluegrass. It's a little different than your Aerosmith. <laughs> we'll be starting here tonight with an original called Red Creek. Let's kick it off. Thank you guys. So this next one we're gonna play is a cover, probably heard it, it's by John, Glenn Campbell, sorry. It's Southern Nights. Um, this is a classic, 60s, 70s. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay, hope you enjoy. I 
Lessers. Okay, I want to talk to one of the lessers here. Banjo. Banjo man, come on over. Okay, I'm sure you have a whole bunch. You have a bunch of uh, banjo jokes. Do you have a banjo joke? I've got a banjo joke for you. A man goes out, he's got his grandpa's banjo and he doesn't want it anymore. So he goes into a really sketchy part of town and he puts it in the back of his trunk and he makes sure, the, makes sure the windows are down. And he leaves it there for a day and he comes back and there are 10 more banjos in the back. <laughs> so anybody have a banjo? Do you know, if is it still parked there? Can they go put theirs in? Um, I mean, if you want, I can give you my address. I'm always taking them. <laughs> Okay, Ellie and the Lessers. Okay, we got another open mic contestant here. And she, she looks like she's going to prom, but I don't think you have prom today. Uh. Our next musician's been writing stories since she was eight and writing songs since she was 12. When she's not playing her guitar, you can find her cheering at Sky Ridge High or reading a book. Watch out for her single, Words. That's a good word for a single, because it's a single word. It's true. Oh, no. It's very true. That will be released this spring. Olivia Hatfield. Oh, guys, it's so cool to be here. Oh, my gosh, it's like living my dream. Uh, so, everyone... I like to write songs about characters I make up in my mind. And this song is about a bad breakup. It goes like this. If I'm supposed to like you so much, then how come I'm stuck staring at the hands of the clock, wishing they move just a little bit faster cause I would rather be home singing or writing all this song and I've been an outsider for all of my life and I just thought that I could try and fit in just this old time but this is no way to fall in Just because I can't be me and you can't be you And everything's in, well, dismay But this is no way So let's just stop And I don't regret all the good times we had You're like a really good book whose ending was just bad and I've been an outsider for all of my life And I just 
thought that I could try and fit in just this little time But this is no way to fall in love Walking on eggshells just because I can't be me and you can't be you And everything's in, well dismay Olivia Hatfield. Okay, Olivia. While Boathouse comes out and sets up, come on. And I know I asked you this last time I heard you sing that song, but how'd you come up with that song? I make characters in my head, and then I put them through situations, and then the characters will tell me what they want me to write. <laughs> I sound crazy. Very crazy. Are you sure that's a fictional character? Is that based on real life uh, characters? It's a mix of both. Mix of both. When you're storytelling, um, you want to exaggerate what you're doing, so it makes it funnier. So, like, if you like feel like, oh, it kind of is bad, you know, you want to go, oh, this is so horrible, and then play it up, and then it's kind of funny. <laughs> but that's all. Right. Okay, everyone, I know Olivia Hatfield. Okay. All right. You guys oh. ready? You go first. Okay, our next band was formed in February 2020 by the Brown Cousins. They've written six originals and are working on completing their first album. Check them out on Instagram at Boathouse the Band. From Riverton High School, it's Boathouse. Thank you. Uh, we, yeah, we are the Boathouse. Um, the first song we play is called LA Devotee by Panic at the Disco. And uh, we're very excited to be here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 
Our next song is called Cookie Cutter. It's an original we wrote together. Um, our album is coming out May 7th. Check that out. And this will be uh, the first track on there. So. you guys clear the stage for our next person. Let me talk to one of you. Who wants to come talk? Hello. Or are you going to talk over there? Okay. Social distance interview here. So you guys, it, you guys mentioned you got a record coming out that you guys recorded. Talk about that process. What have you guys been doing to do that? Um, we go into the studio every Saturday, uh, record a new song. Um, I don't know, it's a lot of fun with these guys, they're great. What, what studio you go to? It's called SOS Productions, they're really great. How do they, how do they help you through the process? 
Um, the producer, Mr. Todd, he's really great. Uh, he's got a lot of great ideas. If any of you have ever worked with Todd, you know how amazing he is. Yeah. Cool. And why did you guys decide to try and do that? Um, we just thought our music's really great, and we want the world to hear it. So. Okay. Awesome. Okay, it's Boathouse. Okay. Hopefully this is a quick set. Our next test. Okay. Our next open mic performer has been playing guitar since fourth grade. And she has been writing songs since eighth grade. It sounds familiar, didn't it? Okay. A few of them have been doing that. She loves singing and performing, wants to pursue a career involving music. She wrote this song when she first made the goal to love herself in everything she does, no matter what. She loves to share her original songs with anyone she can. From Weber High, this is Olivia Burt. Hi, like you said, I'm Olivia Burt, and I will be singing an original that I wrote when I made the goal to love myself this past year throughout quarantine. Mental health, you know, is really important, and quarantine really just kind of sucked it all away, but I worked really hard, and this song helped me get through it, so. Flowers and roses after a storm. The sun on my skin, so bright and so warm. Birds fly by, they sing their song. It's about time I sing along Cause I've been holding myself back All this time And I've been chasing a dream Though the words, they never rhyme It's time to take hold of myself that step, get off of the shelf. I'm a flower in the spring, I'm blossoming. It's time to go and live my dream. Like a bird, I'm gonna sing. Whoa, 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 whoa. in the silence even if nobody's noticed I've been here all the time cause I've been holding myself back all this time and I've been chasing a dream though the words they never Like a bird, I'm gonna sing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Olivia Bird. Okay, we're gonna do a song lesson. I want you to teach them all how to do the whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we do that? You do it and then they do it. You think they can handle it? I don't know. We'll see. Let's try it. Okay. Do what she does. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Wow, that was pretty good. 
So, so you mentioned in your intro that you wrote this song to help you love yourself. When you play this music for other people, do you see it make a difference in their life? Actually, yeah. So um, my grandma passed away in January, and the night before she passed away, I actually got to play this song for her over the phone. And my mom was there in California with her, and she just told me that it just made her light up before she passed away. And so that is why this song is really the closest to my heart. And then also I've had friends who've been going through the same mental struggles that I have because everyone has. And so I think that as much as it can, it has helped people, so. Olivia Burt, thank you. Okay, our next band, Psychedelic Purple, formed in February 2019. Bassist Liam Williams and musical prodigy Max Plot had an idea for a band all their own where they could, would cover the music of bands they loved, as well as writing their own music. Their friend and ace guitarist Alex Red was immediately interested. Grace Lynn Turzo's amazing young vocal talent and shares the other's passions and reverence for musical pioneers. Let's get to it. From Corner Canyon, it's physic psychedelic. Oh, I wrote the wrong thing. Steel Magnolias from Corner Canyon. Man, we should get on the person who wrote this script, man. <laughs> Me. Okay. From Jordan High School, it's Psychedelic Purple.
Psychedelic Purple from Jordan. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, who wants to talk? Drummer's not doing anything, right? <laughs> okay, I know you guys have a lot of musical influences. How do you combine all of those into what you guys do? Well, we all did a program a couple years ago called School of Rock, Sandy. It's not just a movie. <laughs> Uh, it's a program, an after-school program for kids that want to learn how to play instruments. And we have all played for like three years prior to making a band. So these guys are pretty much family to me. So, yeah. So talk about that connection you guys get in a band like, like you just mentioned. How does, that, how does that happen? Is it just magic? I mean, it's not just magic. I think that we all had a talent and we all just found each other and we all just, yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't really know how to answer that, but I think that 
everyone is <laughs> meant to do something. It's hard work. And it's just really hard work and Okay, you talk. <laughs> <laughs> we got the coach over here. So talk about the the camaraderie you get in a band. Um well, I think the main thing is that we all put so much heart and soul into it and we spend hours and hours and hours practicing in our bedrooms and you know, getting ready for gigs and things like that and writing songs and it's just a lot of hard work. Yeah, it is. Okay, we're glad you could be here and show off for us. Psychedelic Purple! Okay. Our next musician has been singing and songwriting since she can remember. This will be her third time competing in Battle of the Bands. At the beginning of her sophomore year, Grace had the opportunity to record and release her own EP called Pretty Like Flowers, which is available on any music streaming service. Tonight, she's performing one of her original songs, which will be coming soon, Coffee Shop. From Stansbury Park High School, this is Grace Stewart. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, I'm Grace, and like you said, I love songwriting, so this is one of my originals called Coffee Shop. I hope you like it. Oh, the piano wasn't on, so. I could recognize that cold from anywhere. I wasn't expecting to run into you. It's been so long since I've seen you, and now here we are. I knew it would happen eventually. Why am I falling apart? Cause when I see your eyes, it only reminds me of who we were, who we were together. If I had known me all of this pain oh. <laughs> I never would have walked into this coffee shop today the November days we'd come here to hide from the cold we would sit and talk for hours but now I get my If 
I had known it caused me all of this pain I never would have walked into this coffee shop today Thank you. Thanks. Okay, Grace Stewart. I don't know if they're cheering for you or for Squid Picnic, but we're pretty. So, Grace. Your third Battle of the Bands. What's it been like for you to be able to be a part of this? It's been so fun. This is such a fun event that you guys all put on. So thank you, and thanks to everyone who puts it all together. It's the best. Okay, is that dedicated to a specific coffee shop in uh, Tuella or Erda or Grantsville? Uh, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> okay. Grace Stewart, everyone. Okay mom. okay, mom and dad, calm down. Calm down, mom and dad. I'm going to bring out somebody because they're still setting up. Summerissa Stevens is the president of Harrington Center for the Arts. She is, the Harrington Center for the Arts is sponsoring the Fork Fest that the winner of tonight's event will be able to open for in June. So I'm just going to give her a minute to talk about what she wants to talk about. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? I think we can do a little bit better than that after all these performances. How are we doing tonight? So my name is Summerissa Stevens. I'm the president of Harrington Center for the Arts, and I'm one of the festival directors of Fork Fest. And Fork De Fest is a one-day music festival that celebrates the Utah music scene. This year, it'll feature 28 Utah-grown bands, vendors, food trucks, and activities to fill your entire day. And Tonight's winner of Battle of the Bands will get to open Fork Fest and share a stage with people like IDK Howe, Fictionist, Sago, Mindy Gledhill, Book on Tapeworm, and Joshi. So let's give a round of applause for that, because that's huge. <laughs> As a special thank you to all of you, we want to give you a special promo code. And just so you know, we don't do this, like ever. We don't give a discount. So if you purchase your tickets for Fork Fest by tomorrow night and use the code BOB, all caps, B-O-B, -B, go to ForkFest.org, then you will get 20% off your general admission tickets. Last year, we completely sold out, and tickets are already going super fast. So make sure you jump on for Fork Fest on June 19th. Thank you so much, everybody, and we hope you enjoyed the rest of the Battle of the Bands. Thank you. Okay, mom and dad go crazy. Let's just go to it. They enjoy dino nuggets, wooden giraffes, and a rainy Sunday morning. Call us squid picnic or octopus lunch. Just don't call us late for dinner. From Bountiful High School, Squid Picnic! Hey, what's up, Utah? We're Squid Picnic. Um, yeah. This is our original. It's called Good Heavens, It's Pluto. front yard is stuck on the concrete you'd think it'd be hard to let go the napkin is stains with your lipstick your friend downstairs 
has been working on her magic tricks. Your eyes, your eyes, they look to the phone But there's no one to call, so you wait to walk home Your hands, your hands, they rust on your lap Aching for a second chance, but the price is too high to buy On the other side, the sing of the key, why can't you decide? Underneath pass you by. The concrete is pulled up now, but you still have time. You still have time. The door is all you'll ever see stumble into something new you're halfway up the tree feel the heat with the back of your hand if you're not ready dear set me into the sand all right the Hi, right, thank you guys. This next song is called Kill Me Girl by the Backseat Lovers. We're both throwing smoke into the night. It's raining, I suppose you need a ride. She said, I've got nothing to do, and neither do you. This is play on the road where we can waste a whole afternoon I overheard that she was 19 Got a fake ID and a nose ring Both kind of girls and no things Better than I do And I'm trying to figure out what she's hiding She's playing it cool but she's lying Better than I do Oh, 
better than I do. Thank you, your beautiful audience. Awesome. Way to go, Octopus Lunch. <laughs> okay, I know why you're yelling now, parents. Good job. Way to do it. Anyone want to talk to me? You're all leaving. Okay, you're all leaving. I got to talk to myself. Oh. Hey. Okay, wh which one's yours? Uh, that one right there. What's up, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> I've been to a Bountiful High Battle of Bands. Tell me what that's like at your school. Uh, it was really fun. They're great judges. Uh, we had some insane competition. 11 on the weekends here right now. They played. They're crazy. Yeah. It was just way fun. Brandon, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I, was that your mom? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing. All right. I'm checking here. Okay. Looks like our next group's up. Thanks, man. Our next group met at a work party for both of their parents. <laughs> Must have been some party. No, I just... At the end of the party, Ellie was playing with some friends, and then before they knew it, Jackson and Ellie were working out their first few songs together. Over the summer, they performed every week on Center Street, where they learned how to play with bands. Jackson started teaching guitar lessons. So if you want some lessons afterwards, girls... No, I'm just kidding. Well, maybe not. Ellie has been in choirs and involved with local groups for six years. They're excited to perform today from Logan High. Here is 19 West Duo. All right, what is up, everybody? My name's Jackson, and this is Ellie, and we are 19 West Duo. Yes. So this first song I wrote over this past year, and it's been one of the worst years of my life, but also one of the best, and I'm pretty sure you could probably say the same. Yeah, but this song is called Never Gonna Let You Down, and it's about stress. We all have stress in our lives, but I just think music is a great way to like channel how you feel and share it. So we're here to share it with you tonight. Oh. Is this on? We've got no volume. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. 
they working on it? Is your volume on? Yeah, my volume is up. All right, well. You want me to start playing? Okay. Cause I'm never gonna let you down Never gonna let you see it's me And it's never gonna walk away Never gonna set me free Not me They say it's just a face It's not forever But I can't see what they mean And I won't return Like it did before Now I cannot see Because I'm never gonna let you down Never gonna let you see It's me And it's never gonna walk away Never wanted you to see this part of me. Now I Never gonna, gonna let you down. down Never gonna let you see It's me And I'm finally, finally gonna, gonna walk, walk away. away Finally gonna set it free All away from me They say it's just a face It's not forever Now I see what they mean and I won't be like it did before cause it'll be the end of me We went from zero to ten real quick there, didn't we? Oh yeah, that was awesome. Oh, rerun? Yeah. Is that a lot? Oh, he says yes. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 go. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Take two, three, two, one. Wrong capo. Woo. Okay. <laughs>
never gonna let you down. I was blind and didn't see the enemy. Now I'm finally gonna walk away. Thank you. Thanks for putting up with that, guys. <laughs> All right, so this next song we found this summer. Actually, I found this song this summer, just so you know. Okay. All right, I Ellie found, found this song. It's, it's our cover of Britney Spears' Toxic. We hope you like it. Wait a minute, wait. Now I think I'm ready. 
now, I think I'm ready now Intoxicate me now With your loving now I think I'm ready Now I think I'm ready Now Thank you, thank you Thanks so much Okay, 19 West Duo, come on over. While Blonde gets set up, we'll ask you. <laughs> so one of the things we have you guys do is you do a cover song. When I think of Britney Spears and Toxic, that's not exactly what I had in mind. So how does that happen? Well, actually, we didn't come up with this arrangement. It was Alex and Sierra, so we stole it from them, but... But the plan was to surprise you with it. <laughs> Gotta keep you on your toes. Isn't that surprising? You, you hear Britney Spears toxic. That's not what I'm thinking. So, awesome job. 19 West Duo, thank you. Okay, I'm going to quickly bring out Dr. Craig Theron, who's been our host for the evening here at Salt Lake Community College. He's one of the music... What, what's exactly your title? The music chair, the music dean, the music doctor. Professor of music here. I'm a professor of music here at Salt Lake Community College, and I work with a lot of great students and, prof and other professors here. It's been wonderful. So if some of these kids wanted to Salt, go to Salt Lake Community College, is there something here that would be right up their alley? Okay, one of the reasons we like to sponsor the Battle of the Bands at Salt Lake Community College, because this is what we do. This is exactly, we teach record, music recording technology, we teach media music, and we do it through popular music bands and teach them how to go out, how to form these groups and how to make a living doing it. And so that's why we like to sponsor because this is what we do here at Salt Lake Community College. Before um, I go on, I just wanted to say thank you to our sound team. Um, would you please give them a big... <laughs> they, are, they are taught by a wonderful professor by the name of John Clark. But these, the people that have been running the board tonight are our students. Isaac Lorton, Jeremy Zerligan, Aiden Johnson, and Mark Small have, have spent their entire day here since about 8 o'clock this morning working with and getting things set up. And so we are so happy and we, we please, another round for them. It's work. And they thanks, do this guys. Kind of stuff. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Craig. We're going to get on to our last competitive band. And he needs your microphone, I think. Okay, here's the microphone <laughs> so you can use it. <laughs> Dude, does he need to wipe it down? <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Thank you, Craig. Okay, our final competing band of the evening is an indie rock band from Lehigh. They're a tight group of friends who really enjoy Ooh. making music. He, need he needs my microphone. Just a second. Right. They've yeah, experienced stylistic ebbs and flows, and they've grown to love their current style and can't wait to find their audience and show more people the passion they all share for music. From Lehigh High and Sky Ridge High, here's Blonde! Hang on, just give us a sec. <laughs> All right, how's everyone doing tonight? We are Blonde, as he said, and uh, this first song is going to be uh, another. It's a cover, actually. It's also, another it's also the Backseat Lovers, too. I know you guys already heard that, but I hope you want more. This is Pool House. Our choice first. 
Cups is in coffin soon. Kids on the line, stuck in vessel or two. Your lunch is on its way back up. You're still in the pool. Wait inside. Blondes, B L O N D, no E because E's are stupid. And uh, this is Jake Sparks on rhythm guitar. Oh, baby. And then this is Anderson on bass guitar, Ricky on drums, and Connor on lead guitar. And you will love him by the end of tonight, 100%. All right. This next song is an original. This one is called Up the Stairs. Time for me 
fears Hold sure you striking To striking to stay in the clear Cause they 
We are blonde, B L O N D. Thank you. He took my mic. Okay. So who's blonde named after? I don't see the blonde. The, okay. It used to be blonde? I don't know. <laughs> so these guys had an interesting request from me. They wanted to be first in sound check and they wanted to be last on the stage. Why did you guys ask that? Uh, it's a lot of fun to watch other people, you know, and uh, I don't know. I don't, who said that? <laughs> I didn't say that. We were waiting here forever, bro. <laughs> you can take credit for that. He took credit for that. So I, I just want to hear one more big round of applause for all the bands, but especially Blonde, for being here all day. We'll let you guys clear the stage. We're going to turn, you know... We're going to turn the time over to some other people here in a minute while the judges are tabulating the results and everything. But in the meantime, I'm going to bring out a couple of people we want to acknowledge. So first of all, this is the 19th year of Battle of Bands. And Patsy Chandler, who was one of the founders of Battle of the Bands, is here. So we're going to bring her out. And you can give her a big round of applause. We also have our current PTA president for the state, Lainey Benedict, who is here and was helping sell shirts and doing everything and very supportive of everything we've done. Patsy, 19 years ago you started this at Cottonwood High School. Just the first 15 bands that said, I have a band, could come and play for you. What do you think of it now? I think it's amazing, and I think the parents are amazing for supporting the program, and I think the kids that have the guts to get up here and sing, um, thank you. I wanted, it's about kids. It's always been about kids. Thank you. Um, when, you when you say it's all about kids, what exactly does that mean to you? Susan Dayton um, came to me and she says, would you like to start a battle of the bands? And I said, heck, sure, why not? I don't do music. I'm not in a band. I don't know how it works. But I thought it was, a, I thought it was good and I thought it would be good for the kids to do. So we just wanted kids that were in garage bands that generally don't have the ability to perform in front of people. We wanted to give them a stage with the best equipment that we could get give them an audience to perform in and just let them do what they wanted to do. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. If you see her, make sure you thank her for tonight and for the past 19 years. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to move out of the way here for a minute. So, we couldn't do what we do here at the State Battle of Bands if it weren't for all the local competitions at each of the high schools. So, I'm going to bring out the local Battle of the Bands chair from Bountiful High. We're going to talk about the band you're going to hear next. And as he comes out, I'd just like to give a big thanks to all the local chairs. So can we get a big hand for all the local chairs for Battle of the Bands? So this is David San... This Did I kill the microphone once again? There we go. This is David Sandberg, who's been the Battle of the Bands chair at Bountiful for seven years now, or is this eight? He's lost track. We've been, okay. And it's been amazing. I've been to a couple at their school, and it's just amazing. So tell us about a little bit about what happened with 11 on the weekend here. So um, every year we have an amazing story, it seems like, that comes out of Battle of the Bands, and that's why it's been so inspiring to us. Um, this year, however, as we were trying to figure out how to do a, uh, you know, the competition with, with COVID and everything, uh, we set up the date and we got a call. And um, I hope I can get through this. Um, and uh, the call was, what day are you doing the competition? we may have a conflict, we're wondering if you can reschedule. And of course, we're like, no, you know, we've got judges coming in. The story is that um, one of the bands, uh, their, their lead singer, had been diagnosed with leukemia. And he was starting chemo 
the day that we were doing in the Battle of the Bands or, or right around then. And, um, and of course, we decided that we would do a, a virtual Battle of the Bands and we would, we would record their band and, uh, and try to do everything we could because uh, as he, he was, went in for his treatment, his, his physicians asked, is there anything you really want to do? Uh, and he said the, that right at the top of the list was to commute and battle of the bands. Well, that, that inspired us. Um, and, and when we told the PTA, they jumped on board and said, hey, you know what, that is such an inspiring story. Um, and we want to do something. And they came together and we realized, um, as uh, Olivia Burke mentioned today, Olivia, right? Um, she had mentioned, you know, she was struggling with stuff this year. And we realized that a lot of people were struggling with stuff this year. And especially at Bountiful High School, we're, we're struggling with the fact that we're losing our, our mascot, the Brave, uh, this year. And, uh, and so, you know, people were struggling with all of these things, COVID and, and, and high school in general, you know, just anxiety, depression, feelings of loneliness, all of these things. And so uh, my wife came up with the, the theme of, you know, let's, the, let's make a theme for our Battle of the Bands. Let's call it Battle Like a Brave. And so we developed, uh, we, we sent out, we, we got permission from the school. We, we created these wristbands, and I'm going to give this to you, Todd, um, which is Battle Like a Brave. Uh, and we, we wanted to acknowledge the fact that, that everybody this year has been struggling with something whether it's leukemia or cancer or you know death or you know loss of a loved one or uh, anxiety depression whatever it was uh, that we were all battling with something um, well we told Todd uh, about this and and I sent him a, a video of our, our competition and he said you know what I would love to have uh, 11 on the weekends uh, come and play for our state competition or after our state competition. So uh, we just want to thank you for, for everything you've done and for all you do for the, the kids and, and Patsy for, for starting this because we have seen miracles in people's lives and, and we just want to thank you. Thank you. Okay, so without further ado, from Bountiful High School, 11 on the weekend! All right. All right, uh, I'm Dallin Bassett. Um, I'm just gonna introduce everyone real quick. This is Sam Gilveer, um, guitar, Noah Two on the bass, and Dane Rasmussen on the drums. Um, we are so excited to have this opportunity to play for you guys. Um, we're gonna be playing three songs while the judges are deciding on the winner. Um, and so the first song we're gonna play is one of our original songs. This one's called Second Star to the Right. Tell 
me? Do you think I'm restless? I always pull the shortest straw. Will you help me find my shadow? You've never felt so far away. Second star to the right is what they always say. And my dreams are just that, but I can't stay awake. Something's telling me that this is our last chance. Wendy, will you take my hand? Sam plug in his wireless thing is being a little buggy unfortunately but uh, that's okay all right the second song we're gonna play is also one of our originals this one's actually the first song we ever wrote this one's called City of Angels Never one for prodigals, I'd rather be a prodigy. If you never change, you waste away. And I'll take wishful thinking over silence and hypocrisy. I'll pay the risk up front if that's the price for destiny. Take me on 
Life's an uphill climb, a long and loaded game. Well, all I need's a couple strings, and then I'm ready to play. Seth, you'll be on the guitar. Last song we're gonna be playing for you guys is a cover. And if you know it, I want you to sing it with us. This is what I like about you. <laughs>
11 on the weekend. Okay. Do I get to talk to Dallin for a second here? I'll tell everybody we have the results, but we're going to take a second here. Am I okay? Yeah. So, what did this opportunity, Battle of Bands, mean to you guys? Oh, this opportunity means everything to us. We, uh... <sighs> Battle of Bands, I think, is important because it allows, you know, kids just like us, like everyone here, just have an opportunity to do what they love in front of people that they love. You know, their friends, their family, and we are so thankful for all the support from everyone that's ever supported us and the support that all of you guys have given to all the bands here tonight. Can we just give it up for every band that's here? And talking about every band, we'll make the announcement just to make sure they all know. Come down, we're about ready to announce the results. Please be on the stage. When we open the curtain, we'll be ready. Um, battle like a brave, what does that mean? Um, I think it means to just battle with your, your full heart, you know, to really put your heart and soul into it, to really do it for a cause rather than just doing it for no reason, you know. Um, I know that we do it because we love it. And um, although my treatment has been very difficult, these guys have really just picked up the slack. And it's just it's shown all of us why we do it, that we just we love it. And we love so writing songs and being able to do stuff like this. What, what's it been like to be able to be a part of this and do things with Dallin as he's going through what he's going through? Honestly, it's been great to do it overall, but with Dallin's treatment, it's been hard because he can't, some days he's barely able to stand up and stuff like that, but whenever we're able to, it's always just so great. It just, it's... Do you not notice a difference in him when he's able to do it? Yeah, he's just so passionate about the band, and it's really amazing to see just how passionate he is about it, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I just want to thank you guys for coming. Awesome. Thanks to all the students for being a part of this, because, you know, as putting this together, it definitely is about the students, and it's been amazing to watch these guys, and I'm I think they're awesome. So one more time, now they're all on the stage. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead and take your gear off. Do we have everybody down here yet? Come on out, guys. Come. We ready? Tanya, do you have the list over there? I think the list is over there. Okay, so Marissa, come on out. Okay. We'll announce the third place winners first in the different categories, and hopefully we can figure out which record to give him. So for third place in the open mic competition, Talon Robertson. Robertson. She, she may be at prom. Is she at prom? Looks like Talon's gone to prom. So we'll get that to her later. Okay, and third place in the band category, Psychedelic Purple. From Jordan High School. Okay, second place open mic, so we get the right record. 
The records are an idea from the local chair at my high school, at Bingham High School. So they got a silver one for second place here. So sil second place, open mic, Olivia Burt. Second place in the band category, 19 West Duo. In first place, no, after this commercial break. Isn't that what they always do? We're gonna do fan favorite, actually. Do we have a fan favorite? Ha ha ha. We'll keep him on the toes here. Okay, for fan favorite for the. She's not back. Open mic category Hallie Hales. And I think she's at a video shoot right now, becoming a movie star. So. Okay, fan favorite for the band. Paper Cup Party! She, she wasn't here. Okay, now the commercial break. No, I'm just kidding. First place in the open mic category, Grace Stewart. <laughs> First place in the band category, Octopus Lunch! Okay, yeah, it, in case you weren't sure, yes, it's Squid Picnic, so I just uh, thought I'd throw a monkey wrench there. Thank you all for coming. We have an all-time high uh, audience, so a big hand for you. Give them a big hand, bands. Thank them for coming. You gonna talk to the winners after this? Just a reminder for the winners, you're opening on, you're busy on June 19th now, so put that on your calendar. Fork Fest, and the dis discount code Bob, by tomorrow, you'll get 20% off. So thank you all for coming. Have a good night. <laughs>